Iron Mike was a very conservative, very structured, I guess, uh, Christian guy, if you will, um, who I stayed with for four months um, before I couldn't take it anymore. He was very uh, Lordship Salvationist, I'll put it that way. But I had a dream last night. <clears throat> um, and this was a dream about Jesus Christ. It wasn't really a revelation. It was just more of a dream about the life of Jesus. Um, and it was very powerful. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into it because I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, before I do, real quick, um, the Bible says, you know, something about, you know, the old men shall prophesy, old men shall dream dreams, something like that. You know, they shall prophesy and dream dreams. Um, I'm a big dreamer. I have a lot of dreams. I dream a lot, and I dream pretty big time. And one one word of advice I like to give to people is, you know, if you don't write down your dreams, they'll be gone forever. Because you're the only person in the world that can remember your own dreams. And, and this night, this particular night, uh, this past Friday, I had a series of dreams. But this one was one of the ones that stuck out the most, and it was about Jesus Christ. So I'm going to jump right into it. Dream 1. I was at Iron Mike's place. Typical Iron Mike drama. And he decided to show us a movie about Jesus Christ. And in the dream, but not in real life, and in the statement here, in the dream, but not in real life, this means that in the dream, the version of me in my dream is remembering something that didn't actually happen in real life. So the version of me in my dream has a memory that's non-existent. But, but in the dream, but not in real life, I knew it was a movie. In the dream, but not in real life, I knew it was a movie that I've seen before. Iron Mike put the movie on and me and Johnny and several others were present in the room. These were people that I stayed with at Iron Mike's place during those four months between January and May in St. Petersburg, Florida of 2022. Basically, the gist of the movie was showing us about Roman crucifixion. So after Iron Mike put the movie on, he walked out of the room and I didn't see him again. Basically, the gist of the movie was showing us was about Roman crucifixion. But not only that, it was about how horribly Jesus Christ was treated while he was on this earth during his ministry. Even by his own disciples, he wasn't treated, Jesus Christ wasn't treated the way he should be. In the dream it says, he, even in the dream I heard it say, even his, too many cars driving by, I just waited for that one to pass. Even in the dream it says, wait a minute. In the dream it was said, even his disciples weren't loyal to him. So this is actually a little bit biblical. Because we know that Peter denied Jesus Christ. We obviously know Judas betrayed him. He's the worst of the worst. And But we also know that his disciples were far from perfect in the Bible. You know, they all fell asleep when he asked him to pray. He asked them to pray, and they all fell asleep around the night before his crucifixion. Um, so, in the dream, obviously it's not going into those specifics in my dream, but it's saying that in the dream, you know, even his disciples weren't loyal to them, which is actually pretty true. Um, yet all that time, through all that hell being persecuted by not just the Romans... But by the other Jews too of his time, it, the dream also showed how badly the Romans abused the Jews that abused Jesus. So, to put into context, Jesus Christ was brutally abused by his own people, and that's all biblical. And it was like in the dream, I was watching it happen. I was like watching it happen all on a movie. It's not even, the, t the TV screen disappeared. It's like I was seeing this all happen in the movie. I was seeing how badly the Jews treated Jesus, how they slandered him, how they attacked him, how they mocked him, how they spat at him, all that. I was watching it, and I'm just thinking in the dream, my God, Jesus was treated so horribly. Um, it was also shown in the dream how badly the Romans abused the Jews that abused Jesus. In fact...
the Jews of his, in fact, the Jews of his time abused Jesus Christ so badly that throughout the movie, um, my handwriting is horrible, by the way. Please, please just uh, bear with me. The Jews of his time abused him, treated Jesus Christ so badly that throughout the movie, I would actually cheer in the dream while I was watching the movie. I would actually cheer whenever the Romans cracked down on the Jews just because of how badly they treated Jesus. So Romans cracked down on the Jews. The Romans treated the Jews badly and the Jews treated Jesus Christ badly. So when the Romans cracked down on the Jews that were mean to Jesus, I actually cheered in the movie. I remember that in the dream. The movie was full of scenes that showed various types of absolutely horrific Roman punishments. So throughout the movie, I saw many different types of Roman punishments that were just brutal. There were many scenes showing, there were many scenes in the movie showing how horrific the Romans' torturous punishments were. And it showed a large variety. It showed a large variety of absolutely horrific Roman punishments. There were many scenes showing how horrific the Roman torturous punishments were. It showed a large variety of Roman punishments that were just so incredibly brutal in different scenes of the movie. I witnessed, I witnessed wooden nails being shoved into people's bodies because the Romans historically were very brutal. They were very brutal. I witnessed wooden nails being, being shoved into people's bodies. I witnessed people being hung with half their bodies shoved into the wood and other brutally horrific things and types of punishments and different types of crucifixions too. On one scene in the movie, it, w it really shocked me. I, this is a very key part of the dream that I had that I want to get to. In one scene of the movie, it really shocked me. Let me wait for this car to pass by. In one scene of the movie, it really shocked me. I saw a bunch of the Jews that were being cruel to Jesus being cracked down on by the Romans. So I was witnessing this, like not even a TV screen, like I said. I was watching this happen. The Romans took like a big wooden metal beam, wooden beam with nails on it or something, and they were cracking down on the Jews that were being cruel to Jesus, by the way. I saw a bunch of Jews that were being cruel to Jesus being cracked down upon by the Romans. And I was happy to see this. Hang on. And I was happy to see this because I felt like they absolutely deserved it. I felt like the people that were abusing Jesus Christ deserved to be cracked down on by the Romans. They were cracking down hard on these Jews of his time and arresting them. The Romans were cracking down on them hard and arresting them. Like I said, with like this big med, this big wooden beam with nails on it, they were cracking down on these Jews. And these were the same people that were being abusive to Jesus Christ. So I was happy to see this in the dream. I was happy to see, you know, these horrible people, they were being cruel to Jesus Christ, being cracked down on and arrested. And they were all being arrested too. But here is the thing that shocked me as these hateful Jews were being cracked down on and arrested just like a lamb led to slaughter I saw Jesus Christ walking with them gloriously and humbly to their fate wow think about that what does that say I saw Jesus Christ walking with these Jewish people who were abusing him, who were slandering him, who were being cruel to him. I saw him walking gloriously and humbly with these same Jewish people, with these same Jewish people that were being cruel to him, being absolutely cruel to him, to their fate. He was being arrested with the Romans and walking gloriously and humbly like a lamb led to slaughter to the same fate that these Romans were taking these Jewish people to. He was with them. No matter how badly they treated him, he was with them. What kind of message does that send 
there. That sends a message of immense compassion and love and forgiveness that Jesus Christ had for these people. To be willingly and gloriously, he didn't have to do it, willingly and gloriously walking with these same Jewish people, these same people that were treating him horribly and slandering him, walking with them to their fate, being arrested with them by the Romans. Um, it just showed the amazing love and compassion and forgiveness and empathy and just love that Jesus Christ had for these people. And it even mentions it in the Bible, which is what um, when he says, you know, when he was on the cross in the Bible, it said, he said, he shouted out, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He asked for God to forgive the people who literally crucified him and whipped him and nailed, shoved nails through his hands and feet and showed the love that he had for these people. What was the message of this dream? It was powerful. It really was. And then there was a second part of this dream where it talked about a show on Broadway about Jesus Christ, but I don't really feel the need to read that because that kind of goes a little off topic from the rest of the dream that I had. There was a Broadway musical about Jesus Christ, and I remember in a part of the dream seeing Pontius Pilate dancing around and singing in the Broadway musical and uh, I'll stop it there. <laughs> but it was, uh, it showed, for some reason, I felt like in this dream, God was showing me the kind of love that Jesus Christ had for people that don't treat him well, I guess, you, if you will. They're sinners or whatever. But not only that, the people that, a very people of his time that abused him and mocked him and ridiculed him that he said to father forgive him they don't know what they do but not only that in the dream he walked humbly with them as they were being arrested to their fate yeah it was powerful in this dream I feel like God was showing me just the massive love that Jesus Christ has for people a love so big we can't even comprehend and um, love for people and sinners and people who, you know, even mock his name and all that stuff. That how much he loves them, that he went to a cross and died for them. And that's the gospel, by the way. He went to the cross and died for them. And um, any one of those people who crucified him could be in heaven because, all by believing on his name, believing on what he did and his finished work and the reason he came. Um, but just the part of the dream where I saw, you know, walking gloriously with these people who abused him to their prison cell of being arrested by the Romans. It's just, it's my point. Let me know your thoughts, folks. This was a, I just wanted to share this with you guys and um, I got more contact coming for you soon. Have your blog 208. Love you all. I've got so much to talk about. So many different things to talk about, but you take care. Have a good day.